So in this lesson, we're going to focus primarily on the feet, mobility of the feet with interest in how the feet articulate with the hips and the spine, right? Just begin by lying on your back. Notice the contact of the heels, the difference between the left and the right heel. And just start to slowly rotate the right leg a few degrees in and a few degrees out, right? So to the left and to the right. And feel the, feel the pressure changing in the, in the right heel, the calf, all the way up to the buttock. Right, then do the same on the left side a few times. Think of the movement initiating from the heel. All right, switch legs again, the right side. And now think of the movement initiating from the right hip. And so if the, thing, if the movement starts from the heel, if that's the intention, it feels different than if it starts from the hip. Turn both of them out and in. Good, so this is primarily a movement of the hip. Let's start with the right foot, just lengthen the heel and point the foot down. Think of the movement coming from the heel, right, from the ankle joint. Feel the Achilles tendon. And then do the same on the left side. Then do both at the same time. Right. I feel how that stretches the tissue in the front of the leg, in the back of the leg. Right. Notice the movement if you feel it in the pelvis and in the spine. Right. If you wanted to, you could rock a few times. Good, so flip over onto your hands and knees. Okay, and just go into uh, cat and cow, stretching movement. Right. right, notice the rounding of the spine and the arching. Right. So as you arch your back, lengthen the heels, right? So the balls of your feet or your toes are standing on the ground, right? As you arch your back, point your toes, point your feet down. Think of the movement initiating from the heel. in either direction and feel how the movement moves from the heel up through the leg into the hip and into the spine. Right, now think of the movement starting from the hip and the pelvis. Right, and now from the spine. Good. 
Good. Come to sitting. And you're just going to take hold of the the right the right big toe. Could be the left, whichever one you prefer. We're just going to do one toe. So slip the, the opposite hand. So my left hand is going to thread through the space between my big toe and my second toe. I'll take the first two fingers, my index finger and my middle finger. And then I'll wrap my thumb around so I get a good grip on the toe. Right, Hold towards the base of the toe. My other hand, I'm going to place the V created by my thumb and my index finger. I'm going to place that on the inside of my foot so I can stabilize my foot as I now begin to pull or distract my big toe very gently away from the rest of my foot. So I'm going to gently pull and then relax, gently pull and relax. Generally speaking, what people are going to do with this is they're going to effort from their hands, right? They're going to use their hands to do the work. So the movement will feel a little more localized to the toe and the foot. Of course, that's what you're doing is you're moving that joint. But what I'm going to do now is sort of like what we just did with the cat and the cow. I'm going to, I'm going to arch my back, right? I'm going to arch, right? And with the hand that's stabilizing, as I arch, I'm pulling that hand towards my center, right? And the other hand is moving away, right? So I create a little bit of a gapping using my pelvis and my spine, right? So what it's doing is it's, it's integrating my toe and my foot with the rest of my body, in particular with my spine. That's what I'm interested in, my spine and my hip. All right, so I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna take the toe and the other four toes, All right, so big toe in one hand, and then I got the other four toes with the other hand, and I'm gonna use a motion to gently pull them apart. All right, so I'm creating space in the midfoot between the first metatarsal and the second, right? And I'm going to use my pelvis in my spine to make that feel like a cleaner, more connected movement. Right? And then I'm going to take the big toe and press it down as I gently pull the other four toes up. And again, I'm going to use my spine and then I'm going to go the other way. Right, then I could cross the big toe under the four toes, right? And then I could cross it above, right? So you get the idea. And then I could take the, the first toe and the second toe and hold the, the three toes, three outside toes, and I could pull them apart. Right, push one down, pull them up, cross them over. Then I could work my way down until I'm holding all the big toe and the three toes and the pinky separate. And I pull that pinky away from the other four toes. Good. Then I'm going to take my fingers and I'm going to interlace them between the toes. So I'll take my same side hand and I'll Stick my pinky between the fifth and fourth toe, and I'll just stick my fingers through as best as you're able. And my thumb is going to wrap around and hold the big toe. And I'm just going to turn my foot so I can look at the bottom of the foot. Right, So I just gently turn the foot. Gently turn the foot. Feel how the whole body moves as you turn the foot. And take your other hand underneath the heel and hold on to the rear of the foot. And using your whole body, lift the leg. 
and start to move the foot in a circular movement in the vertical plane. Right, so I'm using my spine and I'm using my hip to, to create this movement. Good, and place it down. Take your fingers away. You could grab onto the front half of the foot and then you take a little bit of the rear and you could start to do a little bit of a twisting pattern. So you turn the front of your foot in and the back of the foot out. Right. It's good for your foot to have the ability to move in a, in a wide array of directions. Right. So you could do the same thing with the heel. Right. A little bit of twisting. And then you could do a little bit of a deliberate shortening. Right. So you're moving your heel towards the ball and the ball towards the heel. Right. So you move them together. Right. You can move them together and twist them a little bit. Right, move them together and twist. Right, and then you could work your way to the second metatarsal head, right, that's the knuckle of your foot, and you move that towards the heel, and then the third, and then the fourth. Good. And these are more like your, your passive movements of the foot. Of course, you can do some soft tissue massage and stuff, and if you want to get into the, the spreading, of the toes you can do that you could try to differentiate movement where you lift up the big toe separate from the other four toes or vice versa there's lots of possible ways that you could do some different movements but that's enough of the the feet so you're just going to lie on your back and just feel the difference Anytime you do a whole bunch of things like this to your feet, you're just going to wake up all the nerves, the tissues, the joints. So once you come up to, to standing, you'll really feel like you have a better sense of how the foot works, right? How it supports you.